An adrenergic agonist is a drug that stimulates a response from the adrenergic receptors. The five main categories of adrenergic receptors are, alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, beta-2, and beta-3. Although there are more subtypes, and agonists vary in specificity between these receptors, and may be classified respectively. However, there are also other mechanisms of adrenergic agonism. Epinephrine and norepinephrine are endogenous and broad spectrum. More selective agonists are more useful in pharmacology. An adrenergic agent is a drug, or other substance, which has effects similar to, or the same as, epinephrine adrenaline. Thus, it is a kind of sympathomimetic agent. Alternatively, it may refer to something which is susceptible to epinephrine, or similar substances, such as a biological receptor, specifically, the adrenergic receptors. Receptors Directly acting adrenergic agonists act on adrenergic receptors. All adrenergic receptors are G-protein coupled, activating signal transduction pathways. The G-protein receptor can affect the function of adenylate cyclase or phospholipase C. An agonist of the receptor will upregulate the effects on the downstream pathway, it will not necessarily upregulate the pathway itself. The receptors are broadly grouped into alpha and beta receptors. There are two subclasses of alpha receptor, alpha-1 and alpha-2 which are further subdivided into alpha-1a, alpha-1b, alpha-1d, alpha-2a, alpha-2b and alpha-2c. The alpha-2c receptor has been reclassed from alpha-1c, due to its greater homology with the alpha-2 class, giving rise to the somewhat confusing nomenclature. The beta receptors are divided into beta-1, beta-2 and beta-3. The receptors are classed physiologically, though pharmacological selectivity for receptor subtypes exists and is important in the clinical application of adrenergic agonists, and, indeed, antagonists. From an overall perspective, alpha-1 receptors activate phospholipase C via GQ, increasing the activity of protein kinase C PKC. Alpha-2 receptors inhibit adenylate cyclase via GI, decreasing the activity of protein kinase A PKA. Beta receptors activate adenylate cyclase via Gs, thus increasing the activity of PKA. Agonists of each class of receptor elicit these downstream responses. Uptake and storage. Indirectly acting adrenergic agonists affect the uptake and storage mechanisms involved in adrenergic signaling. Two uptake mechanisms exist for terminating the action of adrenergic catecholamines, uptake 1 and uptake 2. Uptake 1 occurs at the presynaptic nerve terminal to remove the neurotransmitter from the synapse. Uptake 2 occurs at postsynaptic and peripheral cells to prevent the neurotransmitter from diffusing laterally. There is also enzymatic degradation of the catecholamines by two main enzymes, monoamine oxidase and catechol O methyltransferase. Respectively, these enzymes oxidize monoamines including catecholamines and methylate the hydroxyl groups of the phenyl moiety of catecholamines. These enzymes can be targeted pharmacologically. Inhibitors of these enzymes act as indirect agonists of adrenergic receptors as they prolong the action of catecholamines at the receptors. Structure activity relationship In general, a primary or secondary aliphatic amine separated by two carbons from a substituted benzene ring is minimally required for high agonist activity. Mechanisms A great number of drugs are available which can affect adrenergic receptors. Each drug has its own receptor specificity giving it a unique pharmacological effect. Other drugs affect the uptake and storage mechanisms of adrenergic catecholamines, prolonging their action. The following headings provide some useful examples to illustrate the various ways in which drugs can enhance the effects of adrenergic receptors. Direct action These drugs act directly on one or more adrenergic receptors. According to receptor selectivity they are two types, non-selective, drugs act on one or more receptors, these are, adrenaline, almost all adrenergic receptors. Noradrenaline, acts on alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1. Isoprenaline, acts on beta-1, beta-2, beta-3. Dopamine, acts on alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, d1, d2. 
Selective, drugs which act on a single receptor only, these are further classified into alpha-selective and beta-selective. Alpha-1 selective, phenylephrine, methoxamine, mitidrine, oxymetazoline. Alpha-2 selective, alpha-methyl dopa, clonidine, bromonidine. Beta-1 selective, dobutamine. Beta-2 selective, salbutamol, albuterol, terbutaline, salmeterol, formoterol, pyrbuterol. Indirect action Agents that increase neurotransmission in endogenous chemicals in this case epinephrine and norepinephrine Amphetamines Cocaine Methylenedioxymethamphetamine MDMA Tyramine Nicotine Caffeine Methylphenidate Mixed action Ephedrine Pseudoephedrine See also Adrenergic receptor Alpha adrenergic agonist References External links Virtual Chembook article on adrenergic drugs Adrenergic plus agonists at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, MESH